Kali Linux is the industry's leading Linux distribution in penetration testing and ethical hacking. It offers tons and tons of hacking and penetration tools and different kind of softwares by default. It is widely recognized in all parts of the world, even among Windows users who may not even know what Linux is. Well, to be precise, Kali Linux was developed by Offensive Security as the rewrite of Backtrack. Backtrack, just like Kali Linux, was a Linux distribution that focused on security. It was used for digital forensics and penetration testing purpose. But the question here is, why should you choose Kali Linux when you have other choices like Parrot Security Operating System, Backbox, Black Arc, and many more out there? Let me list out few reasons as to why Kali Linux is the best choice. First and foremost, it offers more than 600 penetration testing tools from different kind of security fields and forensics. Secondly, Kali Linux is customizable. So if you're not comfortable with current Kali Linux tools or features or graphical user interface, you can customize Kali Linux the way you want. It is built on a secure platform. The Kali Linux team is actually made up of small group of individuals. Those are the only ones who can commit packages and interact with repositories, all of which is done using multiple secure protocols. So Kali Linux is definitely a secure platform. Although penetration tools tend to be written in English, Kali includes multilingual support. This way, more users can operate in the native language and locate the tools that they need for the job that they are doing on Kali Linux. And lastly, Kali Linux, just like Backtrack, is completely free of charge. On top of all these benefits, Kali Linux offers different installation options. One way of installing Kali Linux is by making a Kali bootable USB drive. This is the fastest way of installing Kali Linux and the most favorable as well. We will discuss why in a while. You can also install Kali Linux using hard disk. Installing Kali Linux on your computer using a hard disk is a very easy process, but you should make sure that your computer has compatible hardware. You can also install Kali Linux alongside your operating system. It could be Windows or Mac, but you should exercise caution during setup process because it might mess up with your default BIOS settings. Lastly, you can use different kind of virtualization software such as VMware or VirtualBox to install Kali Linux on your preferred operating system. Well, apart from all this, you can also set up Kali Linux on advanced risk machines or ARM like Raspberry Pi, Trim Slice, Cube Truck, and many more. So there you go, guys. Now you know what Kali Linux is and why it is a leading Linux distro for ethical hacking and penetration testing. In today's session, we will explore different ways to install Kali Linux. Let's get started then. Earlier, I said that the fastest method for setting up Kali Linux is to run it live from a USB drive. But why? First of all, it's non-destructive. It makes no changes to the host system's hard drive or the operating system that it is installed on. So once you remove USB, your operating system will return to its original state. Secondly, it's portable. You can carry Kali Linux in your pocket and can run it whenever you want, just in few minutes. It's customizable. You can create your own Kali Linux ISO image and put it into USB drive using a simple procedure, which we will discuss later. And lastly, it's potentially persistent. You can configure your Kali Linux live USB drive to have persistent storage so that the data you can collect is saved and you can use it across different reboots. Now let's see how to create a bootable Kali USB drive on Windows. Guys, actually the process is very simple. It's just a three step process. First of all, you need to plug your USB drive into an available USB port on your Windows PC. Next, you need to note down the destination drive it uses once it mounts. For example, it could be F drive. After that, you will have to download and launch a software called Win32 Disk Imager. On this software, you'll have to choose Kali Linux ISO file that needs to be imaged and verify that the USB drive to be overwritten is the correct one. Lastly, once the imaging is complete, you need to safely eject the USB drive from Windows machine. So like I said, it's very simple, right? Well, I'm not going to show you demo on this one because like I said, it's very easy and I'm sure you guys can pull it off. If you have any doubts, you can post them in the comment section. We'll get back to you. And as for the demo part, we'll be doing four installations here. First of all, we'll see how to install Kali Linux using VMware on Windows operating system. Then we'll see how to install Kali Linux on Mac using VirtualBox. Moving on, we'll see how to install Kali Linux tools on different Linux distributions. I'll be showing how to install it on Ubuntu. 
Well, the procedure is same for every other Linux distribution. So you can go ahead and use the same procedure for the Linux distribution that you're using. And lastly, we'll see how to install Kali Linux on Windows 10 using Windows subsystem for Linux. So I hope it's clear that what we'll be learning in the session.